science is that we observe and we test our hypotheses, our ideas, and we base decisions on facts. As far as clouds being able to be in front of and behind something, I want to share with you some footage I shot recently. Uh, I was in the last two weeks of a rainbow. And you can clearly see here that there are clouds in front of the rainbow and there's clouds behind. Okay. Otherwise there'd be blue skies. <laughs> when conflicts of principle arise, that's when major new paradigms can shift. Some of us, particularly Harab and myself, very, very strongly felt that this really undermined everything that we knew about physics. Everything that we know about physics today, and even much earlier, was based on a principle of physics which is so basic that we sometimes forget to mention it to our students. It's the idea that information never disappears. And I'll tell you what that means. Information means distinctions, distinctions between things. Um, a hydrogen atom is not, uh, is not the uh, oxygen atom. An oxygen atom is not a hydrogen atom. There are distinctions between these things. And it was a very, very basic principle of physics that distinctions never disappear, that they may get scrambled, that they may get all mixed up. But if you start with one configuration and you let it go, or you start with a different configuration which has different information and you let it go, they'll stay different. And Stephen was saying exactly the opposite. No matter what you throw into the black hole, in the end you get out exactly the same thing. It was extremely difficult to see what was wrong with what he was saying. It was even harder to make him understand that there had to be something wrong with what he was saying. So it was very, very frustrating. Science is that we observe and we test our hypotheses, our ideas. We base decisions on facts. But at the same time, um, it was very exhilarating to, uh, to come up against this basic problem of So we've got this one that the light is maybe down above the flow surface, not around it. And someone is sunset on a flat earth. We almost said that to introduce this last one. Like, but this is what it's demonstrating. exhilarating to, uh, to come up against this basic problem of conflict of principles. And if anything can break the impasses in physics, if there are no experiments available, it's conflicts of principle. And if anything can break the impasses in physics, if there are no experiments available, it's conflicts of principle. When conflicts of principle arise, that's when major new paradigms can shift. And that's the excitement. That so to simply state that a conflict of principle is nothing more than a simple paradigm shift is underestimating the true value and nature of principles being changed. 2016 brought so many ups and downs Yet people have to retrospectfully introspect and completely ab absorb and resonate with all the data and information that we have been given and been a part of swimming through the data and understanding the new heights and capabilities of being a flat earther is liberating. It's limitless. There's nothing more 
that I could want to do with my free time and with my ambition and to reach out to you and everyone else that feels the same way as me. All I can hope is that 2017 brings with it new horizons and new limitless ways for us to raise the bar and to truly discover the realm, the rendering nature of our reality, and then to display it with passion, art, skill, and precise timing and patience. And I'm thankful that everyone can bear with my spelling and editing mistakes as much, much as I can bear with everyone else's. Uh, the main goal is that we achieve to hire them. Um, the levity of the situation is all the electrical What more can we do? What more can we say? How else can we reach more people? What are your goals? How has 2016 treated you? Have you learned anything? Information that's just flows through us, to us, and there's nothing we can do to get away from it. The speed of light is not a constant. Not a spinning ball. This is a stationary plane with limitless possibilities. The very fact and notion for that we're not moving and that time is something that is not relative opens up the door to a limitless amount of things.